Hi, and welcome to Miniature Spectrometers 101, the Raman Spectrometer Tutorial. Today we will be reviewing Raman Spectroscopy Basics and looking at various application demonstrations. A Raman Spectrometer laser generally characterized for high output power and sharp line width. A Raman Spectrometer, which is configured for high resolution and high sensitivity simultaneously and a Raman probe which delivers the laser light to the sample and returns the scattered light back to the spectrometer. This Raman scattered light contains unique information about a molecule's vibration and other excitational modes and produces a finger-like spectrum which can be used for quick and simple non-contact sample identification. In this first example we will be measuring erythritol a sugar alcohol and white crystalline powder that has been approved for use as a food additive in the United States and throughout much of the world. It is 60 to 70 percent as sweet as table sugar yet almost non-caloric. Here I have put some in a vial and we will measure its Raman spectrum. Once you hold down the red laser fire button you will collect the Raman spectrum of your sample. Go ahead and click on the analyze button in the spectral ID to see the erythritol match. Now we will measure the Raman spectrum of sucralose, a non-caloric artificial sweetener made by chlorinating several of the primary alcohols of sucrose. This process makes sucralose approximately 600 times as sweet as sucrose. It also is stable under high heat, so it's good for baking in many canned products. Once you collect your Raman spectrum, you can click the Analyze button in the Spectral ID tool panel and see the nearest match, which here is sucralose in a vial exactly correct. For our next example, we will be measuring creatine. Creatine is a nitrogen-based organic acid that occurs naturally and helps to supply energy to the cells of the body, especially your muscles. Creatine supplements are used by athletes, bodybuilders, wrestlers, sprinters, and others who wish to gain muscle mass. By clicking on the library match creatine in a vial, we can see the spectral overlay of the library spectrum and the experimental spectrum. In the next demonstration, we will be measuring glutamine, but instead of putting it in a vial, we will measure the sample uh, directly with the probe. Glutamine is one of the 20 amino acids encoded by the standard genetic code. It's also marketed as a supplement and used for muscle growth. When you overlay the library spectra with the ex experimental spectra, you can see that there is a slight difference. However, the spectral ID function matches it correctly. In this next example, we will be looking at acetaminophen. Acetaminophen is a widely used over-the-counter pain reliever and fever reducer. It is commonly used for the relief of headaches and other minor aches and pains and is a major ingredient in numerous cold and flu remedies. In this demonstration, we will be taking the Raman spectrum from one of the sides of a scraped Tylenol tablet. You can see when we click the Analyze button that we get some other matches in addition to just the acetaminophen tablet such as Excedrin, which is another over-the-counter headache pain reliever medicine, which contains acetaminophen. Okay, now let's look at some liquid samples. The first sample we will look at is isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol. I have filled my vial with isopropyl alcohol and I fire my laser. Once I collect the spectra, I click Analyze and I see that the library correctly identifies the sample. Now let's look at acetone. Go ahead and click the Analyze button again on the Spectral ID panel and we will see that the saved library spectrum matches the experimental once again. And by clicking the text on the library match, we can see the exact spectral overlay. Now let's look at the Raman spectrum of acetic acid, which is the main component of vinegar. Apart from water, vinegar is roughly 5% acetic acid by volume. Acetic acid has a distinct sour taste and pungent smell. It is one of the simplest carboxylic acids and is also a chemical reagent and industrial chemical mainly used as a precursor to polyvinyl acetate to make glues and adhesives. In the last example, let's look at vodka. 
which is a distilled beverage primarily composed of water and ethanol with trace impurities and flavoring. You can see from the ramen library matches that we get vodka in a vial as their number one match with also other hits from Everclear, which is a similar water ethanol based beverage except with higher concentration of ethanol. Thanks for watching Miniature Spectrometers 101, the ramen spectrometer tutorial. Make sure to tune in next time to watch more of Stellarnet tutorials.